Hello everyone, Justice here. Just wanted to tune in today. Hope everyone is well. Um, just wanted to touch on a very important thing that is, uh, I think, coming up for a lot of uh, light workers in the collective consciousness. But uh, this is what all humanity has to realize, and obviously, all the truths are coming out slowly but surely. But um, I want to let you know that Atlantis and Lemuria was real. The deluge, the destruction, the uh, the great flood, that was Atl Atlantis and Lemuria. These civilizations flourished for thousands upon thousands of years, and towards the end, uh, Atlantis became more technologically advanced, power-hungry, and um, corrupted. Um, but before that, they flourished in, in the Golden Age for many, many years, both Lemuria and Atlantis. But it, uh, Lemuria, on the other hand, was more uh, divine feminine based. So they kept the law of one, the divine feminine, around to the end. Uh, but they were both um, destroyed. And so people are like, well, why is all this happening, this and that? You have to realize that we incarnate over and over and over again in this game. And most of the souls here have had lives in Egypt, have had lives in Atlantis, have had lives in uh, Lemuria. So I want to read a little thing from, from this book, uh, Telos. Um, this is the stuff that came up, uh, you know, during my spiritual awakening, uh, that as, as you activate your, your chakras and energy centers and DNA, the cellular memories come back. You got to remember, our higher selves, our spirit, our soul knows everything. So once you connect to your higher self, all the, the the DNA activates in your cellular memories and everything come back. This book is just a beautiful confirmation. And so through the awakening journey, your higher self guides you to the material that you need to see to help you remember. Because like I said, what the human experience is about is remembering and the self-discovery. It's not really learning, it's remembering. And so everything that we're shown that our higher selves are shown when you're connected is is activating all the cellular memory so without further ado I'm gonna read this piece right here and so it says during the time of Lemuria most of, of humanity and Lemurians were functioning with a full 36 strands of DNA during the fall which was a gradual descent in consciousness that took place over thousands of years an ongoing dimming of 24 strands of DNA took place only leaving 12 active ones with the sinking of both continents of Lemuria and Atlantis, 10 more strands of DNA became inactive. At this time, your former faculties can be gradually reactivated as you open yourself to the vibration of unconditional love and higher consciousness. There is much speculation that humanity's genetic coding has been manipulated by extraterrestrials with a desire for control. This is true to some extent for some civilizations on Earth, but know that this was also a karma of humanity at the time. This manipulation occurred with the consent of higher levels of administrative hierarchy for the earth. Human beings had fallen by then to such a low level of consciousness that it would have been impossible for them to function at all 12 strands of DNA. The consequences of this regression have been severe and painful, as we can all attest to. Without humanity's fallen state of consciousness, this alteration of the DNA could not have happened. The shielding of your DNA, the veil, as it's called, has allowed you to work through your evolution once again from a different viewpoint, without the ability to misuse your powers as happened in the time of Atlantis and Lemuria. It has allowed you to use your free will fully, free of the consequences of the great abuse of your power that occurred you have gained lasting wisdom from your experiences. Ever since you have been functioning with only two strands of DNA and we're activating them now. Your way back to wholeness has been a long and painful journey. Know that it was the only way for God to save you. So that sums it up so perfectly right there. We are here again repeating history as everything cycles around and around. Only this time we're not destroying ourselves. God has granted us the opportunity because most of humanity has proven that we were able to hold the light to be able to move forward into the next golden age, the seventh golden age. And our DNA was manipulated by the dark beings, but our DNA was also 
veiled, like they said in the book, because we misused our powers. So we had to start from the bottom to be able to work our way up to prove ourselves through the duality game that we can inherit our divine uh, abilities from God that we all are to be able to use them again the right way without misusing our powers. And so this is the grand perspective right here. And this is the truth. So I just want to share this. Um, it's a beautiful message. And we're moving back there because it's happening to me. Um, my DNA strands have activated. And uh, I, I'm so excited for the future. So I'm sending you the light of a thousand suns. Much light to you all. Blessings. Oh,